Hi, this is Mark Wireman, and this is going to be a brief video about cellular respiration. We will outline aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration. We begin the process with glucose entering the cytoplasm of the cell. It is here that glucose will go through a process called glycolysis and will result with two pyruvate molecules. Two ATP is needed to start this process and it results in four ATP. So your net result is two ATP. As mentioned before, two pyruvate molecules are made through this glycolysis process. In aerobic respiration, the next step is the pyruvates moving towards the mitochondria. Matrix is the area enclosed by the inner mitochondrial membrane. The pyruvates will transition to acetyl-CoA and then eventually make it into the Krebs cycle, which occurs in the matrix. Two ATP, carbon dioxide, NADH, and FADH2 molecules are made through the Krebs cycle. It is important to note that the hydrogens from these molecules will be used in the next step, the electron transport chain. The electron transport chain occurs on the inner mitochondrial membrane. Protein complexes are embedded in this membrane along with ATP synthase. Hydrogens from NADH and FADH2 will be moved into the intermembranous space, increasing the concentration of the hydrogen ions in that area. As hydrogens are moved across, electrons will be transported from protein complex to the next protein complex until eventually oxygen will be reduced by gaining those electrons. Water is formed in this process. The next step involves the high concentration of hydrogens in the inner membranous space. As the hydrogens move through ATP synthase due to the concentration gradient, they will move ATP synthase like a crank or a rotor. The turning of ATP synthase will catalyze the phosphorylation of ADP to ATP. This oxidative phosphorylation process nets 32 ATP through electron transport chain. So in this example of one glucose molecule going through the aerobic respiration path, 36 ATP are made. With the anaerobic path, the pyruvates do not enter the mitochondria and eventually will go through a fermentation process. This fermentation will develop lactic acid. So in the anaerobic respiration pathway, only two ATPs are netted. This was a brief overview of cellular respiration, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.